there's tens of thousands of schools from uh, elementary to high school to universities, and they all have different needs. They have different needs from a, um, a building standpoint, a structural standpoint, from existing solutions, as well as needs that that individual community or school has with regards to protecting the children. Unfortunately, most schools weren't designed for strong security. You see schools that have a lot of entrances and exits. In many schools, especially the older ones, they each classroom has its own entrance and exit, which is just not great from a security perspective. You know, Unfortunately, the need for security in schools has increased over the last 10 or 15 years. Having a, uh, a system that will integrate with all the different solutions that are in the marketplace that have either been employed or may be employed in the future is really critical for a security solution. Different types of schools have very different needs. For example, high schools might be more concerned with uh, weapons detection, vape detection, um, than they are with having video around every single corner. But that's a very real need, and if they've already got a video surveillance system, it would be better to be able to tie that together as part of a large ecosystem. Now you can't always do that because not every technology company that you're going to work with is going to have every solution. That's why it's key to find a manufacturer or a reseller that's working with manufacturers that have an open standard in mind. When I have an open standard in mind, what that means is I'm going to more easily integrate to other systems and advancements in technology as the landscape changes uh, over time. The key thing is that as schools do uh, experiment with different solutions and start to, to learn what works, they need a platform that's flexible for them that can not only work with the other systems that they have, but maybe even work with systems that they don't have or maybe even systems that haven't been invented yet and have the ability to plug new stuff in, see how it works, and then adapt if necessary. Or, you know, if they find something that's working, go ahead and scale it out beyond just the one school where they're trying it out to the rest of the district or the rest of the city or the rest of the state. Maybe It's all about the ability to use a very simple system that does not require a dramatic amount of on-site technical expertise. Um, Subscription-based is good. Um, cloud is probably better than non-cloud just because of the costs of maintaining hard drives and fixing things that break and, and that kind of stuff. Um, but open is the real key. And the real issue with open is, does it have the APIs to allow other folks to pull the video out in a secure way? And is it cyber secure? You want to get an open platform, right? You don't want something proprietary that isn't going to work. And if it stops working, you can't use it elsewhere. Um, when you have a cloud-based system and you're working with an open platform, it gives you more flexibility to expand. I think there's a lot of opportunities with new technology where companies are coming out and, and no one can do everything at all times. So if you're good and have a core competency of cloud-based video surveillance, you don't want to build every additional adjacent uh, offering. You want to be able to easily integrate with those offerings. The threat continues to evolve as well. So schools really need to be flexible and they need to experiment a little bit to understand what works for them and what works in one part of the country may not work in another part or what works for an elementary school may not work for a high school or a college campus just because the behaviors of the, the students and the faculty are so different in those, those environments. When you have a system that is cloud-based, you have the ability to log in and see multiple systems. You can look at and view uh, recorded history, and you could do all of those things from uh, a remote location. You don't have to actually travel to the site. Um, it's long been a very big problem to have to manage the on-site uh, video recorder, for example, to have to physically be at the site to look into any video. And with a cloud-based solution, not only do you have the opportunity to constantly stream and retain all video for whatever duration you would like, but you also have that added convenience and efficiency gain by simply being able to remotely access multiple locations from a single remote login. What we see today with a, a lot of businesses that are upgrading their systems, they're wanting to get the most modern and most robust system that they can afford today. They don't want to have to upgrade again in a week or two weeks or a month or a year. And so they're saying, let's go ahead and get uh, something that's AI ready. Let's get something that has AI today. So AI fundamentally, what does it mean? It basically is 
uh, taking video data and converting it to metadata and then use it to solve real business problems. And then there's a whole bunch of problems we can solve with it. And it is real, people are able to see it firsthand that it improves the efficiency at which how quickly they can get to video, how quickly they find insights. The market is starting to accept that analytics are real and are valuable. And so how they're gonna be used, we don't really know everything yet. I think what's happening today is that we're seeing the very simple uses, but what we're gonna see in the next 12 to 18 months is much more complex uses as people start to accept, adopt, and then really implement the use of analytics in their businesses. A lot of IT leaders from big businesses are already bought into AI, they're already bought into cloud. Um, so a lot of times they're asking their systems integrator or they're asking uh, a company like us, um, when will this be ready? How can I move to it? What's the subscription model look like relative to capital expense? You know, how quickly can we do this? Businesses are constantly seeing the value of AI in, in other areas, whether they're searching online, they're using other tools or their phones, they see AI helping them, everyone's talking to Alexa, they know AI actually works. You can talk to Alexa and you know, get meaningful, quick information. Um, and so they're starting to trust AI to help them. Uh, and so when it comes to video security, they also expect that level of intelligence in the video security system. One of the toughest things about operating a video system was figuring out how to go back and figure out what to watch. You got all these cameras, you have all this recording, but sifting through all that data and figuring out what to look at was almost impossible. Um, over these last 10 years, we've seen a lot of companies focus on how to accelerate video so you can watch more in less time, but now is coming the, the age of reducing the amount that you have to see to find the most meaningful pieces. Something like smart video search is ultimately going to keep teachers where they belong in the classroom and it's going to be a tool that's going to help security professionals respond most quickly to situations and resolve threats before they become larger problems. Parking solutions historically haven't always been integrated into other systems that work for the business. So by being able to combine license plate recognition technology, advanced analytics, and more importantly, tie them to an open platform like access and video management systems, then you're pulling all of the needs of an individual business together into a single solution and driving more operational efficiency. The first generation of automated parking system is very expensive, like per space, per spot, you might pay a few thousand dollars to automate the whole thing. That's not something that's feasible for most businesses. By tying the existing video surveillance system and even the cameras that they've already purchased and have installed, to a license plate recognition system that doesn't make you buy new servers, new equipment, and expensive new cameras, now you're actually taking something, expanding the technology that you have at your business without a massive investment of CapEx dollars and hardware that is potentially gonna go um, out of date within the next few years. Camera with AI basically becomes like a very advanced visual sensor that can count how many vehicles are coming in, when they're entering, when they're going out. So all of these things tied together are really making it a better way to improve business operations.